Okay, hey everybody, this is Carl from CarlSatsy.com making another video tutorial about HTML. So, in my last video, uh, I showed you how you can um, how you can change the font colors and how you can change the font size. Now, in this video, uh, it's a very short video. However, I'm going to show you how you can actually change the font family and also how you can make also how you can save some time uh, rather than having to put many tags constantly so let's start with um, a new paragraph so we'll call this paragraph mm, I want to change the font of this paragraph so let's end <coughs> let's end the paragraph there so all you're going to have to do to change the paragraph name is go to the start uh, where your first tag is and then again you're going to use a style attribute uh, if you don't know what the style attribute is uh, it's simply a variable that will be used constantly throughout a, which is always which is uh, seen very frequently when you want to change uh, the fonts so we're changing effectively the style of the font so we are going to change the font family in this case so you want to put a speech marks font hyphen family uh, colon and then let's say we want to make it uh, Calibri from Word. So all we're going to do is stick Calibri in and end the end the sentence uh, as it's already been done. And for some reason, body has been missed out. Okay, so now let's save this and let's make a new. Let's refresh the page and now we have this. Brilliant. So now what we want to do, let's say we want to change this to uh, Comic Sans MS. So we save this and we change it. And this is again another type of font that is found in Word. Okay, so now uh, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be slightly changing the way we do things. So now we let's say we wanted to make, um, let's say we wanted to make the font family of Comic Sans 15 pixels. So instead of having to make a new, uh, instead of having to go uh, p style is equal to size is equal to etc etc. All we have to do is go to here, space, make a semicolon, and put it as font hyphen size colon and we said 15 pixels so 15 pix save it and now let's refresh the page and notice how it has become slightly smaller so if you wanted to be uh, 35 pixels now it's slightly bigger <coughs> now the final thing I want to go over in this tutorial is how we can also use this and all we're going to simply do is just to add a third variable which will be color now if you've been watching the other tutorials which will be in the description below as in in the links uh, which will link you back to the others uh, you can see that color is another variable and we're going to have the color as purple save it and change and then refresh the page and if you notice the color is changed from black to purple so when you are creating a web page all you uh, instead of having to constantly put different tags if you simply want to change uh, many different things in one sentence or in one statement all you have to do is have your p style your inverted commas and then to separate your different variables is separated simply by a semicolon and then your text and then remember you never have to close the attribute you only have to have a close the um, the initial tag thank you for watching uh, this is Carl from carlsapti.com